doing? I'm Wendy Williams and you're watching the Broadway.com show. <laughs> Welcome to a special episode of the Broadway.com show, completely dedicated to covering all the glitz and glamour of the 2013 Broadway.com Audience Choice Awards. Let's get started with the news. What's the buzz, Ryan? What a week for Kinky Boots. After sweeping the Tony Award nominations, the brand new musical comedy triumphed at the Broadway.com Audience Choice Awards, taking on the top honor of favorite new musical for writers Sidney Lauper and Harvey Firestein, as well as trophies for stars Billy Porter and Annalee Ashford. Sounds like everybody's saying yeah. That kinky win for Annalee Ashford was in the category of favorite funny performance, and the bubbly blonde danced her way on up to the podium, telling the crowd that it was the first time she'd ever won anything. Shockingly, musical theater mainstay Stephanie J. Block also shared that her favorite diva performance trophy for The Mystery of Edwin Drood was also the first thing she'd ever won. Congrats, ladies. It's about time. Surprising pretty much nobody, Wicked took home the prize for favorite long-running show at the Broadway.com Audience Choice Awards for its ninth year in a row. It also picked up its third trophy for favorite tour, proving that gravity-defying witches, winged monkeys, and the great and powerful Oz are still popular with fans. Really popular. Cinderella star Laura Osnes added two more Broadway.com Audience Choice Awards to her collection when she won this year for Favorite Actress in a Musical and Favorite Pair with co-star Santino Fontana. These are back-to-back -back wins for the Princess of Broadway, who also nabbed the Favorite Actress Award last year for Bonnie and Clyde. Congratulations again, Laura. We know a certain fish who is very proud. From her fabulous wig to her perfectly cinched waist, we were living for Audience Choice Award host Wendy Williams. So what if she mispronounced a few names? She brought fun, fashion, and fabulousness. And what more do you need from a host? Wendy, welcome to Broadway. We're happy to have you. Hear what the incoming Chicago star had to say about her big Broadway debut when we caught up with her on the red carpet. I never dreamt of being asked to be on Broadway. And my last play was Summer Camp when I was about 10 years old, Seashore Day Camp in Long Branch, New Jersey. It's really all about this Broadway thing, and I want to make you proud. I, I want to do well. Hey, I'm Matthew Morrison, and you're watching the Broadway.com show. You know what's amazing about Broadway fans besides their love and devotion? Their names. Blockheads, fansies, to Vader tots. But some followers don't have nicknames yet. We hit the red carpet at the Broadway.com Audience Choice Awards to ask the stars what they think their fans should be called. Fangirls, get your hashtags ready for this week's pop poll. Fanarellas. Fanarellas. I, I like that. that. I think some people say fanatis or something like that, but I think that's like my mom and my grandma. I don't think that it's, there's like a lot of them. The freshies. Kiki something awesome ninja meatball. They call themselves fanalies, which is like, I'm blushing. I, don't, I have so much makeup on, I don't really know if you can tell that I'm blushing, but I'm red underneath my beige makeup. Kinks! kinks. The kinks. All right. Montego heads or <laughs> Glover heads. The co cocoa nuts. The cocoa puffs. Cocoa crispies. I don't know. Some sort of cereal, maybe. They call themselves the Farkai Kings. I would, for me, they should call themselves the Orphanators. Bustle fluffers. Our Tweet of the Week comes from Broadway.com Audience Choice Award presenter Ari Grainer, who ran into a certain kinky pop music idol of hers at the award ceremony and tweeted, Introduce myself to Cyndi Lauper tonight. Big opener. Without irony, I sing all of your songs at karaoke and try to honor you. Hashtag, don't drink at awards shows. Don't be embarrassed, Ari. We've all honored the one and only Cyndi with our own divine renditions of Girls Just Want to Have Fun, right? No? Just me. Okay. You can follow Ari at A Grainer. Thumbs up and a personal thank you this week to all the amazing performers and presenters who kept things fun and sexy at this year's Audience Choice Awards. Matthew Morrison, Ari Grainer, Aaron Tevey, Stephanie J. Block, Jeremy Jordan, Sierra Bagas, Bami Cannavale, Laura Benanti, Orfe, Montego, and Wendy Williams. This thumbs for you. Just when I think I can't take it no more, I see your smiling face outside the stage door and I say yes! Thumbs down to waiting six years and counting to see fabulous Tony nominee Orfe open in a new Broadway musical. 
The Legally Blonde Star's blistering duet with Montego Glover of the original blues song Broadway Fan at this year's Audience Choice Awards reminded us that all we need is a great new role for Orfe on The Great White Way. And Montego, too. Get ready for a Broadway Smackdown. Last week, we asked you which hunky Hollywood bad boy you'd like to see star in a movie musical. Johnny Depp in Into the Woods or Channing Tatum in Guys and Dolls? Well, the results are in, and the hunky Magic Mike star walked away with 63% of the votes. And now for this week. When accepting his Audience Choice Award for Favorite New Song, Matilda composer Tim Minchin confessed that this whole award season makes him feel like he's in a perpetual cage fight with Kinky Boots composer Cyndi Lauper. So we wondered, who would actually win in a cage fight? Cindy Lauper or Tim Minchin? Tweet your vote to at Broadwaycom with the hashtag BWaySmackdown and tune in next week to find out the winner. Sonny, give a shout out to Broadway.com. Normally, we highlight one outstanding photo as our pick of the week, but when you have an event as crazy and star-studded as the Broadway.com Audience Choice Awards, there are just too many shots to choose from. So we won't. Instead, enjoy all these hot shots from Broadway.com's Biggest Night by photographers Bruce Glickus and Jenny Anderson. Thanks all for coming and making it a night to remember. Our high five is a roundup of very quotable sound bites from the acceptance speeches of this year's Audience Choice Award winners. From funny to sweet to slightly raunchy, these happy speech makers didn't hold anything back. This is really awesome because I, man, Phantom is like my jam. Can you believe it? It's my day off. One must have a scotch on their day off. I'm so nervous right now. I feel like I may poop my pants. I just did. Hello, I'm Bette Midler, or as I'm known by some of you older queens, the Divine Miss M. When Tony voters gave Alan Cumming and his reimagined Macbeth the cold shoulder, his fans were understandably upset. He was even voted the number one snub of the season on Broadway.com. But all was forgiven when Cumming won Favorite Actor and Macbeth won Favorite Play Revival at the Audience Choice Awards. Alan, your acceptance speech was the perfect mix of heartfelt and hilarious, your snazzy silver suit got you on the best dress list, and we're thrilled your haunting, powerful, and f***ing weird performance in Macbeth finally got the recognition it deserves. Congratulations, you're our Star of the Week. Thanks for tuning in to this week's episode of the Broadway.com show. We'll leave you with Tiny Talents, Emily Rosenfeld of Annie, and Raymond Luke Jr. of Motown as they brought the house town at the Broadway.com Audience Choice Awards with the hilarious anthem, Kids, We Rule Broadway. See you next week. But don't forget Little Simba. We're not trying to be ages. But we all know what the range is. No more kitty rolls. Next year I'm Sally Bowles. Sorry, there's no entry if you're not born in this century. Kids.